Hello, welcome to a new video. My name is John Skippy Limcool. Welcome. Hands together, head back. Glad to see you. Hey, so this is a short tour of Unify 1.1. I'm also going to give you just a brief introduction for those of you that are new to Unify and that this is something new. There's another video following this that's a longer, more drawn out, spending time showing a lot of the features. This is my trusty list of the 40 things we have included in this update. This is a free update if you own Unify. It is free. It includes new samples. It includes all sorts of new capabilities, tons of MIDI files. It's like it's a whole new machine. Um, there's an awful lot to grasp and learn about, but it's super exciting because some of this is groundbreaking new territory of things you can do with your plugins. The thing that's really fun to remember is Unify is an instrument. Everything I'm going to be showing you are sounds are included with Unify. But on top of this, if I can go to any of these sounds and play them and at any minute, I can go over here and say add an empty layer and I can go to any of my synthesizers. I can make subsets so I can see my sprawling list in an easier way. I could say I wanted to add, let's say, oh, <laughs> what I want to add, let's say just FM8. And now I have added to it. And I could choose a cool pad, whatever I want. And it's an octave too low, so you hold on option, take an up an octave. And I want this to stop right here. And I can say duplicate this layer just like that. And I'm gonna have this one play the bottom range. And then this is gonna stop on B. And let's have this one be a different patch, like a bass. And now I have made a split with FM8 playing two parts. And this needs to be down. Now this one here can be Octave Loris's. First thing is just to get the concept to you that this is a place to play with your plugins. It comes with all of the patches that you see here, and these all work with the sounds that are included with Unify. And then you can add your own plugins, whatever they are, and just like FM8, I can split them. I'm playing a split with two FM8s, and I can say this is a patch, and they load up super fast. You can even load up things that work. We get into some really crazy stuff. And some of the things that are coming with Unify 1.1, I'll show you one example of a really fun BPM drum thing. This is using MIDI box and jitter box, and we can play recycle files, and Unify 1.1 comes with recycle files. So I'm gonna play just one finger, middle C, right? Then I have knobs here, I can do timing. So it's random, works great for fills. Speed. You can do just like subtle things like that where it's double and triple in speeds. Then effects. Decay. So where we can go is pretty insane. <laughs> so there's a ton to explore. There's like over 60 new patches included with this. It's we should charge for this, but instead, please let your, your let your people that you know in the music world about, let them know about Unify, okay? So MIDI box is this effect right here. Jitter box is this effect right here, which does random timing. It can do random pitch shifting. It can do all sorts of things where you're playing different notes randomly. And there's all sorts of applications for that. And like I said, videos will be coming showing that. We have four new reverbs included with Unify. I know it's insane. We found this guy that had these really cool set of reverbs and they were all compiled for an older older version of plugin format compatibility. And we said we would be happy to convert them into the juice format. And if it's okay, we'd love to host them as 
part of Unify. So he was really cool with it. And uh, so now we have four really nice reverbs included. There's an SFZ sample player included right here called Sound Font Player. It's very bare bones, but you can load sound font files. So you can take your samples, use a sound font or SFZ editor, save it out where it's a single file which has a sample. So you just drag that over, get your own drums, get your own samples. And now you can use those with your own MIDI files inside of the MIDI box MIDI effect and do all sorts of just crazy, 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 crazy things. We can do smooth patch changing. That's where you can play one sound, like I can call it this sound. And I wanna add a pad to this, so I can just go up here and type pad. Let's go down here to these really nice pads, like Flutterscape. Right click or control click on it. Oh wait, I hit the wrong button. Notice there's no clicking. I made mistakes and I used to, so hold down control and click this and you can add it as layers or as a new unify into unify. Did it? No clicks? I want another pad to be added. Notice that there's modifier keys. So I can just hold down shift and click and it adds it. Hold down option to turn down all the volumes of everything. I can go up here and say Grand Piano or Steinway because I have a Steinway in here. Hold down shift, click. I added a Grand Piano. Right? So seamless loading means you can load any of the 400 and there's like what, 88 patches now inside of the Unify standard library. All of those can be added just by shift clicking on the various um, patches. We now default to the scroll view instead of the accordion view because depending on the def if this is the default size, you can't see the bypass buttons very easily and stuff. The, the cool thing with scroll view is no matter how small you scrunch this, the buttons remain. So the default view has now been set to scroll view. Um, you can do layers with MIDI effects, as I showed you, the little yellow boxes right there. So you can easily click here and add a MIDI effect. Any of your MIDI effects that you own, not just ours, there's all sorts of really cool MIDI effects out there that we're compatible with that can all be loaded and used. Okay, next on the list, you can now right click patch names to delete or to reveal them in the finder. So. If you want, you can right click on this and say reveal in the finder and boom, there it is. So that way you know where it is, you know where your data folder is for just keeping track of things. Little lightning bolt here for refreshing the library in case you change things around. If you add a new library, it should do that automatically. Selected library and patch names are remembered after you do a reset and a refresh like I did. Like I'm in the Univi standard library. I'm not in all libraries because I have a handful of different libraries in here. And so when I do a patch refresh, it now doesn't go back to all. So we got that fixed. There's now an X right here. So if you say pad and you load something and then you go, I want to go to a piano. You can just hit here to refresh it and say piano. And again, right click and say load into new unify. And, and you're layering sounds and life is good. Um, let's see here. You can display minimax current values. All sorts of things have been done and updated to right here, let's see, let's call up a patch. Click on these little bullets for each of these knobs and you can say link parameters. We now show you more information. We show you the name that the track for what this modulation does. In other words, I'm moving the knob as you can see it's moving but I now have a slider here so I don't have to do that where this goes away and I move the slider. We have fixed that <laughs> so it's easier to work with. The other thing that's really amazing is on when it comes to like mix levels and Let's do this. Let's solo part one, because it's just supposed to be this one sound by itself. Now when I go here to the minimum value, I hear it in real time when I'm changing. And it's, this is something most synthesizers, I, I haven't seen anybody else do it quite like this. You can hear what the destination value is going to be when you move your knob to the maximum value. Or whatever you choose, if you close right here to, in the middle you want to be somewhere. I want to go up to here. And then I went to go down to there. 
So now when I move my knob or my controller number CC1, it goes up, then it goes down. I can choose it and I hear it. Oh, I want it to be loud. There. So you hear the result. Filters, anything to any synthesizer plugin, you can move this and hear the result in real time. Super, super cool and powerful. Um, nobody else does that. Um, go over here. Those are the, the main things. There's now a checkbox as you saw. So if you want, you can turn on and off these parameters for if you get a large list of parameters, which is very easy to get going once you see how fun it is to do that kind of stuff. Uh, in the curve editors that we have for various plugins, we've modified them. The little dot is smaller. And also, if you hold down Option, you can click and drag, and it will only let you take this in an up and down value. It doesn't let you move left and right like this. And that's handy when you're using such things as like our curves. We have these big curves with lots of segments. Now you can just hold down Option and move like that and just move one point on the other page. So we have a couple different things going on with uh, the transport. We've beefed this up a little bit. You have a key range to certain notes in the key range. You can say only b b like low C or something like that to like start a drum groove. And that can be where the one is. Uh, we have two other modes now, MIDI restart, which means each time I play new notes and you're in this range, which I wasn't right there, it will restart the clock. And that's important for something like pump house because pump house is an effect and it doesn't know where the one is. So this is restarting it to tell it where the one is when I play notes. If you didn't do this, then Pump House would be playing on its own tempo and it would be not following where everything else is. So it's really nice to sync them up. Manual stop is where um, you hit play. This starts it. Now I can keep playing and doing anything I want and it doesn't stop until I stop it. So that's useful for other ways of using things. We now show time signatures in here so you can see the time signature of the MIDI file that you've loaded. If you want to be working in 13, 16, you can. This is the timing values for what's going to show over here in the timing transport and tempo. Um, it's always been this way. On the save page, if you click save BPM data, it will save the data with the patch. I'm in the standalone version, which means as I go to each one of these, the tempo changes to This is an example using Jitterbox. Without Jitterbox, it's perfect timing. Bring up Jitterbox. It's kind of human. But you can also get where it's broken. So it's cool for hip hop styles and things where you need to be laid back and not everything perfect. Jitterbox takes anything that's perfect timing and makes it imperfect timing, including turning off the blue arp and playing it. We've added plug in state copy and paste, which means I could copy these Jitterbox settings, go down here and say copy, and I could go to another patch, load up a Jitterbox, and then just go over here and say paste to paste those Jitterbox settings into that plugin. We now have a really cool ability to have actual patches load with images. And this is just a start. It's gonna become much, much bigger. We have big plans for the multimedia visual side. Sound and visual are connected to the same parts of your brain. So this is just a start. Um, libraries, so they can also include their own layer presets. As you saw, Cloud City, uh, when you go to like loading instruments and layer presets, libraries will show up in their own area now because I wanted to keep them separate from the factory patches. So when you go to Cloud City, which we say init, we wanted to choose like some sort of a, I've got MIDI effects here, like these melodic things. And I say, I want to do a chord. That's a MIDI file. And the way MIDI files work is you can play in. And if I say I want to add another one, we could go over to, let's see, which one is this? Idea one, so let's get the bass. So I can go over here to Melodic Ideas, Idea one, bass. So you can build songs and then put them into Unify. There's an option in the settings to turn on and off CPU meters. You can have it so you see these CPU meters, you can see how efficient we are 
If I wanted to get rid of this effect, I can hold down option and click and it's gone. Getting rid of the MIDI effects and stuff like that. I can get rid of those. Uh, Guru Sampler, we added some cool things. Let's see here if we go over here, Guru Sampler. Uh, the uh, sample start randomizing now, it didn't work before in the right way. It didn't do both directions. It only did in this direction. Now it works both directions. We did a cool thing for MIDI files and drums that is included. It's, I'll, I'll, I guess I have to show this to you because it's hard to explain just by words. But let's take one of these drum kits. Uh, this is one of the beat. Here's the beats drum kit. Playing a drum groove. And I have it set. So in the early days when we got MIDI box working, it was everywhere you'd play on the keyboard. Let's turn off the check that does this magic. Everywhere you play on the keyboard, it's the same pitch. It's just playing back the MIDI file. And I was like, that. <laughs> we need to interact. It's got to be more interactive with it. So we came up with, you know, we have a transpose where it will transpose the notes. This is like for playing the the sequence, the musical things that we're transposing. But for drum grooves, it's different because the drum notes have to stay the same because they're playing the bass drum, the snare drum. If you transpose, every note is gonna transpose that map that's playing the perfect sounds of the drums up and down. It's a cool effect. You can use it for songwriting all you want, go for it. But we wanted a different thing. I was talking to Shane and I said, dude, I want to, as I play keys and I go up the keyboard, I wanted to shift the course. And so we did it. We have a special relationship between MIDI box and the Guru sampler. We're using MIDI CC 127 and whatever this, what we call the root key is, this is where it plays the normal pitch of the groove. Anything above that, if you turn this on, watch right here. Transposes the sampling pitch of the samples. Go the other direction, it goes down. And the cool thing with this is that you could take this and let's say we want to load in something from Cloud City. Let's go over here to, I've got all these percussion grooves of all these really cool things. Let's go here to the bin deer, add this. Right? But I want this bendier to be big and huge. So I could go here to the root pitch and I could just change this. As I take this up higher for the where the root is, that takes the samples down lower in pitch to play this note down below that I'm playing. So I can make my bendier sound like this. While it plays the rest of the drum. And I go in all the drums, I want them to be a different pitch too. So I could go over here. So we have as much flexibility as we could possibly think of to do really crazy things for rhythm, which is different than the crazy things that you would do for things that are pitch melodic based. So there's like five different ways you can use MIDI box. It's pretty insane. So there is a lot in this update, as you can see, to take Unify into some really cool territory. And I really wanted to focus on things that were MIDI effects and things that let you apply these to all of your plugins. Load up your contact maps, percussion, all sorts of things, and do crazy things with them that you can't do with contact. New new ground can be broken with everything you own. I didn't really want to do something quite right now, just a guru sampler or something like that. I wanted to do things that enhance Unify for all of your plugins, and we did that. And at the same time, as you go through the factory voicing, the factory patches, it's crazy where we can go now. It's good times. So I'm gonna stop right here. Um, there's going to be the longer video, which goes even into more detail than what I just did. And um, then there will be separate videos after this talking about different ways of using MIDI box, different ways of using Jitterbox. Because we want to kind of change the world. So hopefully it's doing it for you. So thanks for watching. Thank you for your support. Thank you for sharing the fact that you like Unify with all of your friends and family and anybody that will listen. Sincerely appreciate that. That's, that's, that's how you can help us. And buy the libraries when they come out. That also helps us greatly. Okay. So enjoy. See you later. Bye.